12 News is your local election headquarters, and we are speaking with some of our candidates on the ballot November 8th running for governor in Rhode Island, checking in on where they stand for some of the issues that are most important to our voters. Live in studio this morning, Paul Rihanna, you're running as an independent candidate for governor of Rhode Island. Good morning to you, Paul. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I Abs appreciate it. Absolutely. First, we're going to tackle perhaps one of the biggest issues right now on the you know, top of mind for most people, and that obviously is cost of living. You know, between housing, utilities, gas prices, everything going up this year, what would you do as governor to help Rhode Islanders with the cost of living increases we've seen here? Well, what I would have done already is suspend the gas tax, which would give a major relief to all Rhode Islanders. Also, I wouldn't have gave that tax break for the Superman building. There's so many homeless people out there that are struggling now that need relief now. That should be our focus, is the homelessness and, you know, all Rhode Island is not big corporations. Okay. Um, a big issue locally, nationally, to abortion rights here. You know, it does remain legal in Rhode Island, despite the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. So our question to you as governor, would you support coverage for state workers and Medicaid recipients who seek abortions as part of a state budget proposal? What are your thoughts, yes or no? I would not support that. Um, I believe everyone has the right to get an abortion, but I am pro-life, so I would not support that. As you said, um, abortion is already codified in the state of Rhode Island, mm -hmm. but I would not support uh, abortions being covered under Medicaid. Okay, so you wouldn't support a taxpayer-funded plan then in a budget proposal. No. All right. Finally, education. A lot of the candidates with a lot of different thoughts about the state of education in Rhode Island. As governor, what would you do to try to improve the quality of public education across the state? Some of your thoughts on, on what you could do. Well, I am for school choice, so I believe we could work a program out to where the money should actually follow the student. I would also like to help homeschooling moms because now that you homeschool your child, you don't get funding from the money from the school department. So I would like to help the homeschooling moms and create a funding for them because mm -hmm. it costs us a lot of money to um, teach your child at home, you know, food, um, supplies, mm -hmm. you know, so I would create a funding for that. But I also think we need to look at the overall problem, which is Infante Green, we need to replace her, I think, and find someone that's better fit for the job. That's so, my opinion. So as governor, you would find a new state education commissioner? Yes, that's what I would do. All right. So this is Paul Rihanna, again, libertarian, I'm um, sorry, independent candidate for governor. We appreciate you joining us today. and Thank you for your insight. Remember, you can see all the interviews with the candidates for governor on our website, WPRI.com. Thank you. Thank you.